guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to the last 12 days of Christmas video if you had follow if you have follow along in this journey with me I want to thank you for watching my videos and showing them some love and giving them support but in this video on Christmas Eve we're gonna talk about those Christmas Eve and those Christmas Day traditions I'm gonna share with you guys the things that me and my family do and maybe you could take some of these ideas I want you guys to down below to share some of your traditions that maybe me and my family can include in our um, traditional Christmas Eve Christmas Day celebration so this year like you guys our Christmas and our Christmas Eve are different than they have ever been but I am extremely grateful that my family we have our health and everybody is all around doing okay even though we can't be together I still wanted to make this time very special for my children and my husband and just our little family so Christmas Eve we like to start off with a pancake breakfast you can google on Pinterest a ton of ideas this year we're gonna be making snowman so there's really simple you're just gonna make three little circles add some whipped cream some berries some strawberries and there you have it there's your snowman um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram follow me on Instagram so you get up to date um, info on our Christmas and our new Christmas Eve celebration. So I do pancakes in the morning. Christmas Day, we have done this breakfast breakfast forever and ever and ever. My husband is Portuguese, so we do. Um, he does linguisa like little linguisa sandwiches. So if you are Portuguese, if you know, you know, but that is the tradition on Christmas day. It's so funny. So we lived in San Diego. We moved to the area we're in right now, maybe two years ago. It's still in Southern California, but um, in San Diego, close to where we lived, close to Christmas, linguisa would be sold out because we just lived in a community that there were a bunch of Portuguese people. Out here, it's in ample supply, so we never go short of our linguisa. So a day or two before Christmas, I always like to go pick up the linguisa because that is our breakfast. Linguisa, little sandwiches, that's what the um, family eats. As you guys know, I don't eat meat, so I don't eat that, but the kids and my husband greatly love it and they enjoy it. So besides that, on Christmas Eve, we like to go look at lights. After we look at lights, we'll come home and and me and the kids will, and my husband, we will make cookies. You guys know I am not a from scratch queen. So this year I picked up this little set from Aldi and the cookies are already, they did all of the work for you. I just have to bake them and all I have to do is bake them and decorate. So if you are not a from scratch queen like me, get you some cookies you're still baking them and you just need to decorate them these will actually be santa's cookies um we have so we put out a santa plate you can just do a regular plate or a target dollar spot even had santa plates last year i went and went to one of my girlfriends and got the kids santa plate made it's actually a tray but ours says, Dear Santa, I will have her shop linked down below. She sells a ton of personalized items for whatever you need. Cups, um, just a ton of stuff, and you can get it personalized. So, And you can even put your order in to get this for you guys for next year. And then it has a little circle where we will put one of the cookies that the kids decorate. Um, I always go grab some carrots, and we put that there for Rudolph. And then the cookies go here, sorry. And the drink goes here. I picked up, she will sell um, you a little milk jug, but I had wind up picking up this one. It says milk for Santa. And I got this from my local grocery store last year. It was like half off. Um, but I know you can find these just about everywhere. And like I said, Wild Arrows by Renee, she will 
include a Santa jug for you guys. So you would put that here. So here's a drink in case you're thirsty. Rudolph's carrot. And then here is our favorite cookies, those cookies that we're going to decorate. And then it says love, Dominic and Brooklyn. Those are my children's names. So you can get a plate made or you can just put out a plate. We did that for years and years and years. Just put out a plate that we had. But yes, so we sit out the milk and cookies. And then for the reindeer, because we have some carrots there, another tradition that we like to do on Christmas Eve is to make um, some reindeer food. And you sprinkle it on your yard. So it is so simple. You just use oats. So you can use any oats that you have on hand. And then you add glitter um, to it. And you just... You make it, you mix it all together in a bowl and you take it out and you sprinkle it on the lawn and it is just a fun thing for your kids to do. They can make the reindeer food. A lot of schools will do it. Um, that's where I first got introduced to the recipe. As you guys know, I'm a working mom and I work at a school and we would make this every year for the kids to take home. So get you some reindeer food, sprinkle that on the yard so that the other reindeer will have some food to eat since you didn't put enough carrots out. But um, yes, those are the things, the simple little things that we do on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day just to make it super special. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And like I said, thank you so much for watching my 12 days of Christmas. It was so fun making all of this holiday content for you guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And everybody have an amazing Christmas and a happy new year. And I will see you guys next year. Bye guys.